So, what is going on YouTube, this is Sam from Team Sam Rexman here, and today guys, I'm coming at you with an updated Teller Knight deck profile for the post-invasion vengeance. So, I really hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile. A lot of you guys have been asking me, uh, you know, in my comments, in YouTube messages, in Facebook, you guys have been spamming me and asking me where my Teller Knight update is, and you know what guys, I'm so sorry that it, it took me quite some time to showcase you guys' deck list, is because I want to give you guys the best list possible. Uh, so, I've been playtesting this deck for quite some time now, uh, with of course, with the new Dark Teller Knight, uh, Bat Lamius, so... Uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this deck profile with the new addition to this card right uh, here. Before I get started with this video, if you guys just smash the thumbs up button, that'll be absolutely amazing. Let's say if you get this video 500 plus likes, I'll do uh, a do video with this deck profile. So without further ado, guys, let's get started with the deck profile. Started with the monsters, basic uh, triple Altair. Uh, you know, you guys all know what Altair does. He is the uh, wolf bark of the deck, so he basically revives your Italian monsters from the graveyard. Really, really good. Uh, of course, uh, triple Deneb, uh, triple Unukali, uh, okay. So you, you must play triple Unuk because, uh, since, you know, Rhoda is at one, uh, you basically, I, you either want to open up with Deneb or you I, either want to open up with Unukali because Unukali was able to dump a Deneb to the graveyard. So that way that you can be able to abuse your Call of Hauntis and, and Oasis of the Dragon Souls. Uh, so, you know, the basic, uh, standard, uh, triple ups. And next off, of course, you want to play, uh, double, uh, Tower Knight Vega. Really, really good at two. And the sole being why I play this card as two is because I play Power of Desire. So I don't even want I I just don't want to play one and in risk of it uh, banishing uh, itself all power of desire. So just you know playing two copies of Vega is uh, really really standard in the deck in my personal opinion. Uh, so that's pretty much it for your Teller Knight engine. No more. And last but not least, you want to play of course double Maxi. Maxi is really good. I was debating whether or not to main Kaiju's or Maxis. If you guys want to play Kaiju's, is that you guys can definitely swap out the Maxi for the Kaiju's. Uh, but in my personal opinion, I feel like Maxi is just an overall powerful card. It's really good against Burning Abyss as well. Really good against against most decks uh, in today's meta. So Maxi Maxi is really, really amazing. So that's pretty much it for your Talonite engine. Very, very standard Talonite engine. Off to your uh, spells, of course. One reinforce of the army. Uh, one instant fusion. Really good. Instant fusion because you bring out Norden, and Norden is always a free card. And you can always abuse Norden back with, of course, uh, Call of the Hauntus, which is really, really nice. So one instant fusion. Uh, one soul charge. You know, uh, double power of desires, really amazing. Uh, you know, speed the consistency of the deck, uh, which I really, really like. So this card is really, really amazing. Right. You want to play, of course, double Tower Knight Genesis. This card is your uh, base. It basically replaces the Twin Twister, which is really, really amazing. So if you guys don't know what this card does, is that basically destroy spawn trap cards on the field equal to the number of other Tower Knight cards you control. So if you control three Tower Knights, you're basically popping three back rows on the field. Uh, but you know, you got to be really careful on how you use this card because let's say you have three monsters and your opponent has two back rows, right? And you, uh, you activate this card, you must destroy three back rows because you have two Teller Knight monsters. So if your opponent has two back rows and you want to get rid of those back rows, you want to basically, uh, let's say you already have three monsters on the field, right? You, you can basically go into, uh, you know, overlay the two into the, uh, Bat Lamius, and then you can activate your Teller Knight Genesis that way that you can pop two cards on the field. Uh, so remember guys, you gotta be really careful the way you use this card. Not a lot of people know that effect is that it destroys the amount of spawn trap equal to the amount of Teller Knight monsters. If you control five Teller Knights, you must destroy five, uh, you know, spawn trap cards on the field, so you must know how to activate this card properly. So, uh, double Tower Knight Genesis, a really powerful card, and a really good way to actually resolve this card, especially against the Pendulum matchup, is like you know. So let's say you go, you know, you have called the Haunted uh, set, okay, and you have this set, and then you know you you go into your opponent's end phase, you can activate Call the Haunted, summon Vega, Vega will activate its effect to bring out you know Altair from hand, Altair revive Denub, and then you have three monsters on the field, and then boom, Tower Knight Genesis end phase, destroy three back rows during the end phase. So this card is actually really, really good. And you know what? The, the soul being that it is a quick play, this is the reason why I like, uh, because especially against the Paleozoic Frogs, you guys all know that Paleozoics uh, must chain onto a trap card. So if you interrupt your chain with anything, uh, you, you know, you, they basically don't get to revive back, uh, you know, the, the, uh, their trap card. So you basically, once they activate their effects to revive themselves, just chain Tower Knight Genesis, and then it will just stop the chain. And at the same time, you will destroy their back rolls, which is pretty awesome. So double uh, Genesis, really, really powerful. And last but not least, I play uh, the double Tower Nice Sky Bridge. This card is really, really good. This card can either be your Anuk, this card can be your Denub, this card can be your Altair. I was playing Foolish Burial before instead of this card, but I felt like this card was just ultimately better because let's say that you, you open up, um, let's say, uh, any Tunnel Knight monster. Let's say you open up a Vega and you have no other monster in hand. You can basically summon Vega, activate this, um, you know, you know, especially I mean, Anok, Anok dump Denub and Vega will be recycled back to the deck. Uh, so this card is treated as, as any Tunnel Knight monster and uh, basically it, it just adds a little bit more consistency to the deck. If you see a net any Tower Knight monster with this card, you're already guaranteed a Tower Knight monster, uh, you know, especially Denim on the field first turn. So uh, Skybridge is just really, really good, and especially if you open up a knock with this, 
you can basically go uh, Bathlamius. What you can do is that you can summon a Nuck. A Nuck will dub Denim, and then you activate Skybridge. Skybridge will return a Nuck Collide, especially when the Altair. Altair will bring out Denim, and then uh, you can just basically overlay for a Bathlamius and just go Skull first turn Triver, which is pretty, pretty cool. Skybridge is a really good card overall, and this card helps dodge cards like Floodgate Trap Hole, Bob's Trap Hole as well. Also, uh, helps dodge a lot of trap cards like Quaking as well. So, if you say you're attacking your Town Monster, you can basically just activate Skybridge, return, uh, especially when another monster, let's say in defense, another Altair in defense or something, and then uh, return that monster to the deck so that way that you, you can dodge cards like Bombless, Quake, Mirror Force, Flood, Your Trap, and things like that. So, uh, Skybridge is a really, really good card overall. And it also helps you dodge the Buster as well. So, let's say your point, you know, you summon a monster and you're, you know, you activate Buster effects to banish that monster, you can go, oh, okay, Skybridge. Like, I dodge, you just basically dodge the Buster, uh, which is pretty awesome. So, that's pretty much it for your spells. And off to our traps, you do play a heavy uh, trap lineup because this is Hello Knights. You know, I, I've been playing Hello Knights ever since it came out. So, uh, this deck is just really, really fun. Uh, you know, as you know, many people know me. I love playing back row, and you know, especially decks like you know ABCs. I love to play back rows, and of course, decks like Tower Knights. I play love to play back rows and frogs. Like I love all those decks. So one floodgate trap hole really good. One bombless trap hole. I don't know what happened to this bombless. Like it's it's crazy. Like I don't know. Is, is this a misprint, guys? I don't know. Like I got this. Uh, like what is it called? Yeah, I got this like out of legendary collection, but I never really noticed this thing. Yeah, so uh, one bombless. These are your Reflezio targets. Uh, double quaking mirror force. Uh, really, really good cards. I love quaking. You know, it, it's it's your automatic out to Vanny's fiend and, and things like that. And this card is really good. It's automatic out to Dark Law as well, uh, which is pretty awesome. And it's really good against the Buster as well, but you know, believe it or not, because Buster uh, can only tag on your turn, so if they attack and they run into the Quaking, you basically like you know, you basically just yell hooray. Uh, so off to your other cards. Uh, your uh, what's it called? Your continuous traps. Uh, you play, of course, one Oasis, Dragon Souls, and Triple Call of the Haunted. I was always, you know, you guys can either play two Oasis if you guys want to, but I felt like the four Revival traps are definitely more than enough because now you can consistently make Triver. You can always recycle this, these cards back as soon as possible. Uh, so uh, you know, Call the Haunted, you know, the four, the four Revival traps is definitely uh, good enough, good, good enough in my personal opinion. So uh, Triple Call uh, next, of course, Double Phoenix Chain. Only two Phoenix Chains uh, in my personal opinion. You can always recycle this card back again with Triver, which is pretty awesome. I felt like three. Uh, is uh, you know too much uh, so yeah I like I, I would definitely prefer to play you know cards like floodgate or quaking mirror force over the third finish chain uh, so yeah so double finish uh, still really good cards for, for the sole purpose that is a continuous trap uh, which is really really nice so that's pretty much it for your continuous side let's go off to oh, well this is also another continuous trap one man is emptiness uh, triple solemn strikes really powerful card especially going first uh, really really amazing last but not least so one solemn warning and of course double tell uh tell night nova uh, you know you guys can definitely play this card at 3, but I feel like Tom Strike is just definitely way more powerful than uh, Town Knight Alpha. But this card is really, really good as well. I just cannot find space to main the, uh, the third one. You guys can main 3. You know, you know this is my playstyle, guys. I've been testing this card at 2, and it's working You know, it's, it's working fine for me at 2. Uh, but you guys can definitely bump this card up to 3 if you guys want. I see a lot of builds where you guys play 3 of these. But I feel like, you know, you play these cards like... You know, like Teller Knight, no, like Nova. It's 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 a good card. Like it's it's a it's a powerful card. You guys all know it's a blowout card, but yeah, you, know, you know, cards like Quaking is just you know too good not to play. Like what I would recommend, maybe taking out uh, is you guys can either take out the Floodgate to add in the third Nova if you guys want to. But I felt like you know I'm already playing Solemn Strikes and also Warning. Uh, you know, instead of the third Alpha, you, you guys can go ahead. It's all up to personal preference on how you guys want to play your decks. But I feel like two uh, Alpha is working fine for me. Nova requires you to have a Town Knight monster on the field. If you open up this card, if you don't open, have a Town Knight monster on the field, this card becomes useless. Whereas you know, your cards, cards like Solemn Strike, Quaking, Bombless, Floodgate, things like that, are always live, and it doesn't require you to have anything on the field. So. Uh, yeah, so that's that's my explanation behind the Nova. But if you guys definitely want to go play three Novas, you guys can go ahead. You know, uh, it's all of the personal preference on what you guys want to play. As I said before, but here is my side deck to just showcase you guys on what you guys can play. So of course, triple D barrier, especially going first against any matchup, BAs, uh, ABCs, things like that. Dimension Barrier is just a blowout card, really amazing, especially with Teller Knights, really, really good. Uh, of course, Triple and uh, Twin Twisters. If I am going second against you know ABCs uh, or uh, you know or any other matchup, I would take uh, the Teller Knight Genesis out for the Twin Twisters because going second, Teller Knight Genesis isn't really that good. It's only really good when you're going first, so you can set up your uh, your Teller Knight monsters. But going second, Twin Twisters definitely going in in replacements of Teller Knight Genesis, and this card is really good because I don't want my Triber to get striked. You know what I mean? Triber is my heart and soul of the deck, so uh, Twin Twisters really good gamma seals okay this kaijus 
is absolutely amazing in Teller Knights. You guys don't know how good Triver is. You kaiju their monster, you summon Triver, bounce back your kaiju. Look how look how good that is. That's that's crazy. Like you can just kaiju them, you go Triver, and you can consistently make Triver because of this bad boy right here, and then you just get this back for free. So Gam Seal is really amazing. Uh, you know, double book of eclipse, uh, double anti small fragment, especially going first. Like you know, uh, if I'm going first, but putting this in, putting putting this in. Going second, putting these these bad boys in, and last but not least, triple systems down. Uh, I lend my systems down to my friend Charles. Uh, so Charles, if you're watching this, I want my systems down back. <laughs> so you play triple systems down. Uh, really, really amazing. So that's pretty much it for the side deck, guys. All right, so let's go off to your extra deck real quick. So for your extra deck, you guys want to play, of course. Uh, of course, one Tunnel uh, uh, Night This card is absolutely busted. Psych! That card is banned. I'm just kidding. Guys, to be honest, I was just making a joke. Okay, anyways, guys, off to your real extra deck. Uh, of course, double uh, Dark Knight, uh, Dark Teller Knight, of course, Bat Lamius. Uh, this card is actually really amazing. So basically, what his effect is that, let me read you guys the effect. Uh, all face of monsters on the field become dark. You can attach one extra CV from this card. Discard one card, especially when one extra deck, one light Teller Knight monster by using this face of a card you can it as an XYZ material. Also, you cannot XYZ summon other monsters for the rest of this turn. This is treated as an XYZ summon. An XYZ material to attach this card also also becomes XY, XYZ material of the summoned monster. So you basically uh, overlay two Tonite monsters into this, detach one XYZ, discard one card, bring your Triver, and then you have a first turn Triver, uh, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So of course, double Badalamius must play this card, triple uh, Tonite Triver. Must play the card at three now because you consistently make this, uh, make the him off him, which is really awesome. One Deltros. This card isn't, it's, it's, it's not as good as Triver, man. But you know, he, he comes up sometimes. Look at that, man. It's a ghost. Of course, one, uh, Kazanai Diamond. Uh, and you know, really standard, really good against BA matches. You guys don't know how good this card is against BAs. Of course, one Castell, one Rafflesia for your Floodgate, and of course, your, um, what is it called? <laughs> your Bombless Trap Hole. One Abyss Dweller, 139 and 139. Lightning and 39. Uh, one Daigusto Emerald. Uh, one Bujintai Sukiyomi. And last but not least, of course, one Elder Entity Norden because of the instant fusion. So uh, this is pretty much it for the deck profile, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys slap the thumbs up button. That'll be absolutely amazing, guys. If you guys want to see the new video, make sure you guys give this video 500 plus likes. That'll be amazing, guys. So show me all your support. And I'm so glad that you guys have enough patience, uh, you know, uh, for me to you know and i'm finally able to just po uh, pro uh, profile you guys this deck the deck that you guys have all been waiting for thank you guys so much for your patience again uh you know i appreciate all you guys uh, you know like, i just cannot thank you guys enough let's get let's get it guys roll to 50k roll to 50k guys we're almost there and yeah I, you know if you guys have any in your suggestions or things like that please leave it in the comment section below i'll be glad to just uh, read them if you guys have any changes you guys want me to make in the deck you guys want, you know want me to just uh, want to suggest me any changes any other cards that you guys recommend any cards that you want me to try out please Please let me know in the comment section below and also guys remember my Chris Strong deck profile is coming up I'm reading those comments guys they're coming up all right guys this is Sam from Team Sarah Sam signing out all right guys peace <laughs>